Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Philippians chapter 3 and verse 1, where Paul gave us a command to keep on rejoicing in the Lord. So let me give you some aspects of rejoicing in the Lord. A few P words to help you think this through and to apply it to your life. Rejoice in the person of God, in who he is, in all his attributes, in all his glories. Rejoice in the person of God. Then, of course, we are called to rejoice in the promises of God. God has given us many, many wonderful promises in his word. Some of them are conditional. And as we obey the conditions, then the promise is fulfilled. But let's rejoice in the promises of God. Thirdly, we can rejoice in the power of God. Yes, the power of God, the limitless power of God is available for you and for me. In whatever extremity you find yourself in today, you can rejoice in the power of God. And fourthly, you and I can rejoice in the purposes of God. God has a plan. Everything in this world is running according to that plan. And God has a plan and purpose for your life and my life. And uh, it has its twists and turns, but we can rejoice in the purposes of God for our life. And then we can rejoice in the pardon of God. Yes, he forgives us all our sins. We are sinners, saved by grace, but sinners nevertheless. And every day we can come to this gracious God and seek his forgiveness where we fail. So we can rejoice in the pardon of God. And then we can rejoice in the provision of God. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not lack anything. So whatever your need, you can count on the Lord to come through for you. He is the faithful God. And uh, we can rejoice in the provision of God for our life. And let me give you one more we can rejoice in the patience of God. God is incredibly patient with us, isn't it? He puts up with us and uh, he doesn't wipe us out. We are not consumed. We are given grace day by day. So we can rejoice that our God is patient with us. God is patient with sinners, not wanting any to perish. He wants everyone to come to repentance so we can rejoice in the patience of God. So just look at these seven aspects of the Lord and uh, enough ample reason for us to rejoice. Rejoice in the person of God, in the promises of God, in the power of God, in the purposes of God, in the pardon of God, in the provision of God, and in the patience of God. May God keep us rejoicing right through this day. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.